Last week it was confirmed that former Doctor Who showrunner Stephen Moffat has returned to write an episode that will air during Shooty Gatwa's first series as the Doctor. In his statement in the official BBC article reporting the announcement, Moffat said, Apologies to everyone I've very slightly misled. I am in fact writing an episode of the series of Doctor Who, exactly like I said I never would. What can I tell you? There was begging, there was pleading, but finally Russell agreed to let me have another go. I believe he is referring to previous comments he made which seem to indicate he wouldn't be writing for Doctor Who, which he probably had to make in order to put people off the scent, because, you know, for contractual reasons he's not allowed to just come out and confirm his involvement before the BBC are ready to make it official. And this particular rumour mill that Stephen Moffat might return has been going on for months, in fact, pretty much ever since it was announced that Russell T Davies would be coming back as showrunner. Even if that was not the case, though, this news would not have surprised me in the slightest, and it's entirely consistent with where Doctor Who is heading at the moment, and if you've seen any of my previous content, particularly my most recent video, then you'll already have a sense of what my general thoughts are on this. Stephen Moffat returning in itself is not necessarily a bad thing, and it is entirely possible that the episode he writes will be really good. And if it wasn't for the fact that Russell T Davis and Julie Gardner and Murray Gold and the rest of them were all back as well, I might even be excited for this. I mean, Moffat is a very skilled writer, and history tells us that he tends to produce his best material when he's contributing a one-off episode, as opposed to being the overall showrunner who's steering the ship. But for me it's impossible to separate this from the wider context of Doctor Who plundering nostalgia and dredging up its past at every opportunity as if that will somehow make the show great again. Council of Geeks used the metaphor of defibrillating a dying patient in her reaction to the announcement, and honestly it feels like that's what's going on with the franchise at the moment and it's an appropriate figurative description. The BBC and Disney are just throwing everything at the wall right now and being like, look, here's all the stuff you liked from back when Doctor Who used to be really good. But when that is all you have to offer, there's no artistic integrity or conviction there, and it's not exciting, certainly not to me anyway. You know what does actually get me excited at this point? The thought of new writers coming on. People like Vinay Patel in Series 11, who can not only bring a unique skill set to the table as storytellers, but who also have different perspectives and experiences they can draw from. Because yeah, while Moffat might well write a perfectly good script, it's still going to be a Moffat script. It'll be the same kind of story that we've already seen loads of times before. We're never going to get a Demons of the Punjab, for instance. And that's the part that saddens me about the current state of Doctor Who, and also why I can't get enthusiastic about this announcement. This is Midnight Chimes, still waiting for the last train home.